Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to uh, the next quick fire session, leveraging smart classes in field service today. Uh, my name is Lance Anderson. With me, I have Aaron Sal. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about um, smart classes, how they're being used today. Uh, I'm sure you've all heard of augmented reality, virtual reality, smart classes, all this wonderful stuff. Um, that stuff is all coming, but what we're going to share with you today is real, proven technology in the field right now, improving service levels and keeping a lot more money in your own pockets. So uh, I'll get right to it. Um, I'm going to start. Uh, my name is Lance Anderson, uh, Vice President of Enterprise Sales for Usix. Uh, we are the creators, manufacturers, and developers of smart glass technology and head-mounted displays, similar to these Vuesix M100 glasses that I'm wearing here today. Okay, uh, Vuesix, uh, we're not new to this. This technology may seem new, it's not. Uh, we've been around since uh, the late 90s, creating scopes for the military, uh, uh, military uh, industry, and we moved into consumer and industrial products in 2005. You can see here we've got a long history in this field. Uh, but what we're at today, 2014, we came out with the M100. Moving forward, we have the M300 and M3000 coming out this summer. Um, these technologies are now in the field in the thousands. I won't bore you with all that. The M100, what you're looking at here, it's really a head-mounted computer. Right? It's got all the systems and, 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 and components that a cell phone has without the cell chip, hands-free. So first things first, if you're going to leverage a, wear, a wearable like a pair of smart glasses, if you benefit from being hands-free, this is the right device for you. It has a display, a camera, a 1080p camera, speakers, microphones, GPS, accelerometer, all the things you might need. And I'm going to tell you how you might put all that together. All right. I think the best way to do this is to play a quick video here and I'll talk over with all the features of what a head-mounted pair of smart glasses are. But it's really a platform. It's a platform for communication. It's access to your company's database, but it's real-time access to what your technicians and the people wearing the glasses are actually doing out in the field. All right, so what I'm going to show you here is a quick video. Oop, I'm not going to show you. Here it is. That might play for me. There we go. Um, so what you're looking at here are wearable smart glasses. It's a device, standalone device, doesn't need to be powered in or wired in, hooks to a pair of frames or a hard hat or what have you. It's got a processor inside, it's an Android device similar to an Android phone, uh, 13 megapixel camera, 1080p video that you can record or stream home. Very versatile device can mount to the right or left side, some people are left eye dominant. Nice little display, you'd be surprised at how little this blocks your view. In terms of ergonomics, move it up out of the way, move it down, move your camera, very freedom of motion, and you can adjust and fine tune it perfectly for your use case. Lots of different mounting designs, glasses, hard hats, um, straps to wear around your head in the cold weather. These things connect via Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, they have GPS, the US Russian, GLONASS, gives you great triangulation of your position if you're doing utility maintenance out in the field. And in terms of communication, it has buttons, touchpad, Voice controls, you can talk to the device, camera on, camera off, take picture, make call, all those kinds of things. Uh, rugged, industrialized, this is waterproof, dustproof, drop proof. It's meant to be used in the industry for many, many years. All right? So really, smart glasses are a platform, they're a conduit for what you want to do. Um, another shot here of some of the ergonomics. Um, you can see this all in our booth and try this on for yourself with working demos and all, but you can see. It's really just a device that connects to frames, a hard hat, a headband, whatever you need to get this device on your folks in the field. Um, this is real technology. It's available. You can buy it today. You can buy it online. Again, these are Android devices, Android platforms that have an application running. And that application can be for facilities, maintenance, for support, for warehousing, anything like that. But today, obviously, we're going to focus a little bit more uh, on facilities maintenance. So um, with that, I want to introduce Aaron. And Aaron will take you through some of the use cases. Thank you, Lance. So th there's a lot of different hardware uh, options on, in the field today. And we chose Vuzix because it was the most robust and resilient. We've been working with these for the last couple of years, and, and Lance and his team at Vuzix have done a phenomenal job actually building things for people that work 10 or 12 hour days. And I think that's an important uh, thing to note, is that these things can take a beating. 
Uh, it's interesting when you see the Google glasses of, of uh, the industry and you say, wow, that's, that's nice and light, but as soon as I drop that on a cement floor, that's probably breaking. And uh, Musix has done a really nice job at that. So we're X XOI Technologies uh, out of Nashville, Tennessee. Let me share a quote I just recently had. All the old people are retiring and the young ones are morons. The CEO of a $250 million construction HVA services company. Well, I'm sure you can appreciate this in some respects. <laughs> I think uh, although most CEOs wouldn't use this colorful language, it's probably the uh, sentiment that is true, right? Our skilled trades gap is a significant one. Uh, it's so significant, in fact, that 600,000 unfilled skilled trades jobs in the United States last year. Uh, you got an older generation that's retiring, a younger generation that uh, was, was told to go to college, not be a ditch digger, which is, can be good advice, but also means we don't have anyone to fix things and build things, and it's a major, major problem. So much that 10 million unfilled jobs uh, we'll have by 2020, which is a significant, significant thing. So at XY Technologies, we build uh, wearable tech technology systems that work, that matter, and we make it easy. You've probably seen augmented reality solutions, a variety of different kind of uh, videos that look great for marketing purposes, but ultimately we're building visual intelligent solutions for field service, and specifically in, uh, in, in verticals like construction, manufacturing, and utilities. And so there's a horizontal application group of field services, of course, that goes across those verticals, and we're providing solutions that help these guys and gals do their job. It starts out with a Vuzix M100, as I discussed earlier. We load that with our custom applications. Those applications are camera and on-site, and we connect those seamlessly with our back-end system, which is vision. So when I say visual intelligence, I'm taking photos, videos, telepresence. I can see what a junior tech sees, hear what they hear, and talk with them about it in real time. Five states away, 10 states away, a country away. So you imagine being able to capture data for a knowledge management system, being able to help somebody who's on site, not having to roll a second truck, not having to send someone uh, back to the office to get assistance again. Uh, if there's anything that I want you to take away of what Vuzix and XOI are doing together today, is we provide the right information to the right people at the right time. That is the core of what we're providing. So that all makes sense inside of a workflow. When you talk about giving someone who maybe just got a set of uh, a smartphone, uh, a set of smart glasses, you gotta tie it into a workflow that makes meaningful sense. And so an example of this is that we would arrive and capture on a job site for an HVAC maintenance company, for example. They're taking photos and videos to see what the site conditions look like, being able to determine what it looked like when they got there before their job started. Those are being uploaded to our vision platform, and connected to the field service report, so I know who took them, where they were, what customer it was for, and it can be searchable. The next step would be to take a training video. So let's say that you've got a seasoned tech up there and he says, wow, this is there's a certain opportunity that I know is a special trade secret. I'm gonna capture this hands-free point of view, load this up to our system so that the other 300 techs in my business can look at this. They can search your compressor overheating issue and watch somebody hands-free point of view fix that issue. Uh, if they can't fix it, then they can support and execute. So they can use the glasses or receive a call, uh, which you can see what this person sees. Again, hear what they hear, talk to them about it in real time. Not roll that second truck, not look like, not look silly in front of your customer because you're able to help them. Uh, and also capture that and archive that for knowledge management. And then the recap and sign off is really interesting. And certainly from a liability perspective, they can take photos and videos and capture those to say, this is how I left the site. This is what it looked like, it was running, you know, Obviously, you guys have been in situations, facilities where oh, there's screws on the ground, oh, it wasn't working, oh, there was a mess, and all these variety of different things, verification that work was done well. But the interesting thing about the recap side is that it gives a level of transparency and accountability to a customer that wasn't possible before. Customers don't go on the roof. So when I can say, hey, this is John Smith, uh, this is the work we did for you today, sir, uh, this is why I'm asking for a $5,000 change order. Do you see this problem? I know you're not going to come up here, but this gives us an opportunity to fix it and get it done today, avoid additional trip charges. That's been huge for us. Um, certainly our customers, when I say us, but our customers pull through sales have increased significantly because that general contractor is in a different state or the designer somewhere else or the decision maker is someone else. The, the opportunity for them to make instantaneous visual decisions is a, is a big advantage. So let's take a, a look at this video and we'll get a, a feel for what this looks like in the room. Plastic bag. 
and unfortunately the first one had an ice machine inside. So I filled it up with some ice and I put it back up there on the roof. And I'm just going to put this right on top of the compressor right there because it has a little thermal overload that's built into the compressor right up on the top of the shell. And it's up uh, above like 200, 220 degrees, something like that. It'll uh, actually turn the compressor off and uh, try to restart if it cools off. Uh, so while I'm waiting for that to cool, I'm going to get a contactor. Uh, I did look in here with power off, obviously. I looked in here and I saw that on this third contact, it looks like the, uh, it looks like the point's completely melted off there. So uh, that would cause the uh, uneven voltage to the motor, which would cause it to overheat, which is in the situation right now, so I'm going to give me a kind of paper put on, and hopefully the compressor will start back up and running. <laughs> that is a tin can for compression. So it's not like a regular hermetic. But what you can do is shoot your discharge temperature. You can get your discharge temperature. And then you can take temperature readings and about take one at the bottom, one midways, and one at the top on the compressor and see what they are. Okay. The discharge temperature. Uh, should be less than one, uh, 180. Less than 180? Uh-huh. All right. Hey, man, don't bother me. So, so obviously, huge advantage for all stakeholders. How many, how many guys think there's a manual that exists that says go get a bag of ice from the customer, take it up on the roof, reduce the thermal overload? It's a trade secret. It's knowledge. It's decades of experience. Uh, being able to capture that and share that with the rest of your team is really valuable. And our, our teams are uploading, our customers are uploading hundreds of these videos every week throughout their service organization. Uh, the second one you saw was, of course, remote support. He'd never seen that compressor before, didn't know what temperatures he needed to, to leverage there. And uh, he was able to help them from, I think, a couple hundred miles away from each other, where that visual, uh, hands-free perspective was really valuable for him. Of course, this could be also leveraged to a senior technician. I uh, don't want to give the impression that it has to go to a triage center with a guy sitting at a desk. This, of course, could go to any mobile platform. So there's another senior tech holding a tablet or a phone on a different site. Uh, they can leverage the technology as well. And then, of course, the customer. Being able to share this information with the customer and get decision-making done faster. Guys, that's XOI Technologies. We appreciate it. We take uh, 10 minutes to answer some questions. If anyone couldn't tell, those guys are from the south. A little bit of a southern accent. And we are too. These are New York guys. Speech recognition still picks up the New York <laughs> yeah, accent, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> it is, yes. So one thing that we've done uh, with the Musics platform is we do it's a certain type of hardware encoding where actually we get really, really phenomenal battery life. Under normal usage, you're probably looking at four to six hours. Um, and it comes with an external battery pack that'll give you eight to ten hours. Actually, Musics is nice enough to provide that external battery pack. Um, and so we've done a really nice job. The telepresence is the biggest uh, battery suck for sure. You know, certainly you're streaming a high data or video, it's, it's going to go down. Uh, we see about an hour and a half uh, on this alone of uh, just telepresence on ours, which is significantly better than, than others from what I understand. Um, most cases you're not going to be on an hour and a half diagnostic call. It's usually 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes. And so we've seen people pretty happy with the battery. The battery is uh, it's actually Wi-Fi, so that's a misconception. There's no middleware here. This is a standalone unit. Imagine uh, wearing a cell phone on your face in terms of computing power. So what that means is all it needs is a Wi-Fi hotspot. So either I can connect to inf infrastructure here or a hotspot on my phone or tablet. Yeah. Totally autonomous. Storage space. Yes. It actually has a micro SD uh, card. What do they sell micro SDs? Like a man in, uh, of white right here. Yeah. Micro SDs at 256 gigs. So I mean, certainly whatever. Uh, I can't believe how big those micros are now, but you could. Plenty of hours of video. But the majority of users 
we'll stream this video yeah. if possible. Uh, uh, but obviously, if you're in an area where you're not, you have no connectivity, you can, in essence, buffer to the memory on this or an SD card, multiple SD cards, and then upload it later when you get back. We do see that in a field field service utilities. You know, pipelines are in the middle of nowhere. So you download your maps and your information, you do your work, and then you upload the results and you get back on Otherwise, everything is live upload. And so as soon as it's done, you're done with the five minute video, it's already pulling it up to the cloud. You gonna take that one? It's a pretty, it's a pretty rugged device. I'll drop it. For, this is like the vacuum cleaner salesman, right? Where I yeah. don't, 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 no, uh, literally, this was designed for enterprise. This, unlike many of the other components out there that assume a mass consumer use and trying to be sleek and sexy, um, it's a little bit sexy, but uh, no, this is made for enterprise. We even have newer models out that are completely waterproof, dustproof, drop from eight feet. The idea is that this is going to last for many years in an industrial environment and take a beating that we know it's going to be. And there is a, and there is a warranty on it. Yeah, so the way that XOIs approach this is we, do, we don't push content back to the wear too much. I mean, certainly they have the ability to make contacts, etc. Uh, Vuzix as a whole has other uh, vendors like ours that uh, do some really cool things back to the, to the viewer. For us, it was a conscious decision to say, was the screen large enough to view something meaningful? If I need to share a blueprint or a schematic, I'm probably looking at my phone or something, a tablet or computer anyway. And so that was our, our personal decision, although I know you have other vendors that... Uh, yeah, I, I think it's important. If, if you were doing a preventative maintenance checklist, right? On a piece of paper, you've got all 10 steps. That's you're not going to see here. So generally, we'll show them one step at a time, maybe the second step forward, ask them to perform the step, take a picture of what they did or make a verbal commitment.